Good afternoon again. This time I remember to turn the mic on. So <laughs> we're here at 26 degrees, central Kansas, south central Kansas. We got the Arkansas River, which you've seen in my other video, the Evan Williams video. Or no, it wasn't the Evan Williams video. That was the, uh, oh shoot. Give me a second, guys. Uh, Ezra, the old Ezra 101. That's the video. I digress. Anyway, it's snowy. It's nice. We got a couple inches of snow overnight. So it's a cool day to be out here doing this on. My daughter's standing behind the camera. She's all bundled up like a little snowman. Cute little snowman my daughter is. Today we'll be doing Springbank 10-year-old. It's Campbelltown Distillery. It's a smaller, well, they're not too small anymore. They also make long row. The long row is the PETA version, but believe it or not, I still get a little peat in this myself. It's 46% alcohol by volume, 750. I paid $51 for it. Uh, it's your, I think it's the, this is what all other Campbell towns really is measured at upon. This is the distillery because there's so few, Kilcarran and a couple others. Long row comes from the same distillery and there's another one in there, and I, Hazelburn. So, but this one is the quintessential what we think of when we think of Campbelltown malts, a spring bank. Not chill filtered, not colored. Uh, we can expect a little scotch mist, which we're gonna get. Uh, it's a nice golden, little, little deeper gold, golden color. Again, we're not gonna be able to discern much from the, uh, well, it's got good oily legs, but with the temperature change out here, I would expect them to be a little thicker, to thicken up a little bit. You can smell it. Smell it right now. Smell that caramel coming right off of it. You can smell the bourbon cask in it too. I get the caramel and the vanilla. A little salty character to it. It's it's very sweet though in nature with the caramels and the vanillas you get the barley you get the maltiness that comes through too but it's a deeper maltiness it's not a light maltiness it's a more rich multi note but that vanilla and that caramel just keeps going that's all I get on the nose for a day like today right now Maybe a slight orange peel, just a very so slight. Yeah, I go with a little orange peel. It's going for the palate. Oh. There is just a little bit of smoke in it. That malt, that depthness, the depthness of character and the maltiness and it's way it the way it plays with the vanilla and the caramel and yes now i'm getting a little bit more of that orange note in the background coming through and there's a slight metallic note that's building as well oh this is really this is really a good 10 year old malt this is it is a good 10 year old malt finish is still going on finish is still there still enjoying it Medium, medium, long, long, medium, long finish. It's got a rather longer finish than I would expect for a 10 year old. And there's ever so bit of that pencil shaving character in the background too. Not much, but a little bit. It's a very good experience. Well, just a touch of water, see how it changes. I don't add very much to this one since it's only 46% and I missed with about half of it. So we literally only get a couple drops, which is all we really need anyway. It dials back the caramel character a little bit, but the vanilla stays there. And this one I'm a little short on spiciness. There's some spice, but it tends to dominate more toward the sweet side. Again, it's that sweetness. You're bringing the 
bringing the whole composure down. There's a little almost seaweed note to it now. That maltiness is developing into a salty seaweedy taste now with a little water. And I think that was what I was confusing with the pencil shavings. First one, the water makes it shine. It brings out more of that seaweed note to it. Salt and saltiness. Hmm. That's interesting stuff. I think it's good. I think for the price, it's real good. Uh, I think for score... I think for score, I have to give it... 88 out of 100. It's more than drink. It's a, it's a decent, really decent malt. It really truly is. Uh, it's worth the money.